Yo, what it do YouTube? It's me, Can't Stop A Money, and we are back inside the Hyper Butter Creation Chamber. Did y'all hear that? Because my hand hurts like fuck. <laughs> and this is another reaction to Steins Gate. Yes, this is Steins Gate, episodes 15 and 16. All right, guys, we are back with Steins Gate. This is another two episodes in one video today. I have been loving Steins Gate. You know, ever since that, when y'all said it officially started, like, I've loved the show way before. Even when I like when I first started it, but now that things have like really, really escalated with the plot and everything, just like boy, so much to take in, so much to take in, so many questions that need to be answered, so many questions that haven't been answered, just so much of everything. Mayuri, Mayuri, yeah, you know, for right now, Kioma, Kioma cannot escape this locked fate. Uh, with my area right now, you know, every time he he tried over and over and over and over and over again, and it just always ends up with Mayuri dying, either by Moika, CERN, or just by some 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 freak accident, literally. And it's been heartbreaking. It has, you know, demoralized Kiyoma, and you know now and now you know he's just trying to find a different way. It's like like uh Amane said, you know, there's there's a a, there's a beta line and there's an alpha line, something like that. Uh, you know, no matter what has happened, it always ends up being on that beta line right there. It always ends up with Mayuri's death. Uh, there has to be something, one single uh, diversity, some, some something that she said to uh, to break through and you know change the future, you know change her fate. Uh, so yeah, and at the end of that, we so we now know that that satellite that's in the middle, that's in that's wedged into that building right there. Is a time machine. Amane is a time leaper, um, and she has revealed herself as John Teeter. She's been uh, posting as John Teeter online and having conversations with Kioma. And ah! <laughs> yeah, man. So yeah, I I'm ready to get into this. So uh, y'all already know the uncovered should be in the description below. Let's do this. Let's get into some more Steins Gate. This shit is addicting. It's like cocaine for me right now. <laughs> Gotta have more. Without further ado, the video will be played right here in this corner. This is Steins Gate episodes 15 and 16. Right now. Is this? You know what it is. I'm a time traveler, specifically from the year 2036. 2036. We've met yep. online a few times, you and me. <laughs> I post as John Teeter. Yep, that's her. There we go. Start with this, uh, with this opener. I love this opener. Let's go, man. This is more stories. Okay. Yeah. Come on. By the year 2036, CERN has taken complete control of the world. Their word is law. Democracy is nothing but a memory. Damn. People sleepwalk through their lives completely devoid of hope. Damn. You go against CERN, instant death like that. No questions asked. And they murdered a lot of people. Anti CERN resistance. I just I always want to know, but what's her thing about Kurisu though? Maybe maybe this will touch on it. I Who knows? I realized they couldn't be defeated in my time. The butterfly. So I bet my only chip. The secret time machine my father had left me. So nobody knew that was a time machine right there. It was just standing there. Oh, let me find out some. That's let me find out that's capsule court. <laughs> got it online a bunch of times, and I never got a straight answer. Hold on. So that was you posting under the nom de web chestnut rice and kamehameha. <laughs> kamehameha. <laughs> she laid her cards out on the table. So the least I can do is reciprocate, right? And one person did more than anyone else to bring CERN's machine to fruition. The mother of time travel, they call her. Makise Kurisu. Are you saying I'm some kind of traitor? I would never help them. I don't know where you got your information, but it's obviously mm. wrong. Well, it's true in 2036. Is that why you've always been so hateful around me? Well, there we go. Mm -hmm. They managed to set up a worldwide monitoring system to alert them to the emergence of any viable research in the field of time travel. I hate to lay this at your doorstep, Okabe, but the first email you sent probably caught their eye. Oh. You mean the one I sent in front of the radio building? That's the one. But if we can just delete that message from their system altogether before anyone over at CERN bothers to read it, we'll change the future. 
Then what are we waiting for? Let's go back in your machine and hack their database before we'll they... need to find an IBN 5100 to pull that off. Jesus so Christ. Man, point. nobody the knows. The was to travel back to 1975, obtain an IBN 5100, and make sure it got to you. That was all. Uh, yeah, but, but nobody knows where it is now. I spent too much time looking for my dad. I should have left this year way earlier. <laughs> Wait, can go? What's going on? Here's the plan. Okabe jumps back to five hours ago when the lab first had time leap functionality. Then you jump back again the full 48 hour maximum to 2 p.m. on the 11th. Everyone clear? Sounds like that's as much time as we're going to have to work with. I just hope that it ends up being enough. Whatever it takes to get that Hope's time up. machine up and running again, that's what we do, understood? I'll keep reliving those two days till it works. Boy, it's gotta be hell. This isn't about saving the world. Not for me. Not anymore. This is about my Yuri. Just repair it, Daru. You have 48 hours. You're the only one who can do it. Why 48 hours? It's, uh, I'm... Because it's just more of a challenge. Look, if you can do it in two days, I'll give you whatever you ask for, okay? I'm in. I want a day-long date with Ferris if I pull it off. Fine, I'll yeah. make that happen oh, man. somehow. Yeah, as much oh, as yeah, I don't. I can make it happen. <laughs> I swear. Come on. For Ferris. You want this pretty bad. Damn right I do. What's the verdict? Well, I could be talking out of my butt here, but based on what I've been able to scope out so far, the insides remind me a lot of how the phone wave operates. Really? So then you might be able to get it working again after all? Mm-hmm. <laughs> maybe, I've been maybe. wondering about your dad, you know? If maybe he's somebody close to us. I mean, he had enough info on us to know where we were and what we were up to when it all went down. Maybe. He didn't tell me anything in person. The type. Alpha test number 2.67. Or a bamboo copter cam, for short, on account of the closed circuit digital vid camera we put in the base. This is actually practical. We could use it to conduct an aerial search. Sadly, the camera lacks its own gyrometer, and the spinning footage is nausea-inducing. Uh, that seems like it's a pretty yeah. basic problem for a version 2.67. <laughs> uh, but that's the only one. You see, Daru tends to name things on a whim without much concern for logic or convention. <laughs> Surely you jest. Very interesting. First yeah, I let yeah, Yuri no. die through no fault of her own. And then I go off tilting at windmills like a goddamn fool. How can you say that? What's foolish about wanting to save the world from tyranny? Isn't that a goal worth dying over? <laughs> well, that'd be over 1.0. I'm gonna bust out some questions, yo, so holla at your boy! Word to your mother. Sorry, I don't speak jive. <sighs> well, that was weird. <laughs> I have a button on the watch your ID. Have you seen this before? Hmm. Or if you don't recognize it, then perhaps you know someone who would? I can't believe you just said word to your mother to this guy, you freak. <sighs> Look, if you remember, please don't hesitate to call. Uh. <laughs> Uh, nice dreads, my dude. Maybe the pen simply doesn't exist yet. There's nothing to say it couldn't be made in the near future. Daru's a cheetah when it comes to tech jobs. He's so unassuming, I'd never have known he was a badass. Mm -hmm. Don't judge a book by its cover. Oh, right. Yes, you're right. <laughs> Lesson learned. Wanna hop in and lend a hand, Suzuha? The heat in the time machine might be oppressive, but it's nothing that couldn't be fixed by stripping down to our unmentionables. Uh, Why are you such a creeper? Yeah. Oh, Susan well, and Daru there go that. a good match, huh? Huh? How do you mean? Could've. Predator prey? <laughs> I don't know how I mean it, but they just do. <laughs> it's a predator oh, prey. Or my Yuri's just being inscrutable again. Yes? Yeah, is this the word to your mother guy? <gasps> You're the hey. same vendor, right? Oh, yeah, my boy. Know, last night I met a guy who wanted a pen like you were asking about. You're telling me you found her father? <laughs> I'll meet you in the alley in 15. I hope. I hope my boy came through. Oh, yeah. Can't count my boy. My man's up. Man, I don't know. I guess the dude kind of looked like a barrel. Like a barrel? Did he ever give you his name? He didn't say. And I didn't ask. But he was round. I can tell you that much. Round like a barrel. Did you know taru is another word for barrel, you guys? Taru? <laughs> uh -huh. Taru? I picked that up from watching the Rhino anime. There was a barrel monster guy and his real name was Taru. I'm telling you, uh he looked just like a barrel. Or maybe a balloon. 
I don't want to say it, Damn. but maybe we can't find him after all. Yes, we can. There is another option. Uh -huh. Maki say we'll have the time leap machine finished by tomorrow. Once it's operational. Damn it. I didn't think to ask him what time Suzo's father shows up. Oh yeah, he went uh, Kilma went back. Is that him? He does cut a rather spherical figure. Wait, that hat. Darrell? <gasps> what? Oh huh? man, Ocarina. Oh. Wait, 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 no. Nah. Oh. Sneaking off to make a copy of Suza's pin. Seriously, how bad's she gonna feel if we never find her old man? I figured I'd get another pin and fake being her dad. You know, give her some hope. Oh. The hope you speak of is based on a falsehood. <laughs> Wait. Suza, I'll keep the world exactly the way it is right now. Okabe, how did you... Do you... Do you regret the time you spent with us? <laughs> if you could never see us again, would you come to regret having known us in the first place? can't not go. Changing the future was my dad's life work, and now it's mine. This is your future we're talking about, too. How can you just maroon yourself in the past? I'm not headed to some gulag. It's the 70s. Mm. As long as I can make friends half as cool as you guys, I think I'll be all right wherever I end up. Oh, that'll hurt. Don't go. Just as the cherry blossoms are blooming, more folks will be out and about. Better for making friends, you know? Wow, good thinking. Mm. Earlier it is. I want her to leave. FG204. Hey, Suzuha! Huh? What's up? What does that mean? Oh, I should have introduced you sooner. That's the time machine's name. My dad came up with it. Huh? Detective Mayuri figured out who your father is, Suzuha, and just in the nick of time! Really? What? Huh? What's better? You could reach out right now and give your dad a great big hug! Uh, right now? Now? See, I was wearing my thinking cap, and I suddenly realized why you two make such a good match. It isn't just because you're friends, because we're your friends too. It's because you two are family. No! What? Are you saying? Oh, saying? Long lost father is Daru! <laughs> what? No, 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 no. about all the time machine stuff you're doing in Akihabara in 2010 and you're reading stoner thing reading Steiner sure <laughs> well the only guy who'd know about those is Daru right so... yeah but the very best clue that I found was right under our noses <sighs> what the time machine's name yep FG 204 FG like future gadget you I see? Suppose oh check out the rest does that remind anyone of anything? Second of the... Yo! <laughs> You're my dad. Dude, what? You gotta call me Big Daddy from now on, huh? Are you seriously gonna make even this moment pervy? <laughs> <laughs> Yo! You're my dad. Yeah, I guess I am. I guess I that makes that. it because his side Just of his like hair. And I found you. But I'm gonna finish what you started. And I'm gonna make you proud of me. That's gonna be kinda tough. Because I already am proud of you. This is incredible! This is incredible! Oh my god! Your mother. Was she smoking hot? Was she? Short, baby faced, huge rack. Am I in the ballpark? <laughs> I'm keeping that one to myself. Damn! Yo, that's incredible! Suzuha! I promise you! We're gonna meet again! Things might get rough, but you gotta hang in there! You gotta be strong! <laughs> oh, God. For your dad. I don't think it is. 
Uh, Mr. Braun? A letter? Hashida Suzu. Huh? You really think it's from her? A better place. Uh -huh. She passed on ten years ago. I need to tell you that I failed my mission. I failed. 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 I only had to do one thing and I failed. I failed. I failed. I only remembered the truth of who I am a year ago. All that wasted time. Something in the machine was still broken. Please tell Dad not to blame himself. The fault was all mine. I should have just gone straight back to 1975 like he wanted, instead of risking everything with a stop in 2010. God, how could I have been so selfish? The future's doomed because of me. I forgot about my mission, my duty. I lived an easy life with my head in the goddamn sand. Please, please forgive me. Dear Okape, when That's I couldn't nice. find my dad that one evening, you stopped me from giving up and heading to 1975. So I stayed, and the storm that night damaged the time machine in ways we never found. If you can turn back time, I ask that you not stop me that night. My life was... A waste. The thing still eats at me. She killed herself. <laughs> Hanged herself in her house one day. I should have seen it coming. She'd been off for about a year, you know, mentally. It's all my fault. Her time machine never would have malfunctioned if I hadn't prevented her from leaving that night the way she intended to. If I hadn't messaged myself to follow her, she could have traveled back to 1975 with the memory of what she had to do intact. You didn't know. If you press that button, it's like none of this was ever real. I have to. Don't you see what'll happen? She'll never know who her father was if you send that message. I have to! This is what you want to do! Make it a good future, yeah? <laughs> oh, Green! What more can what more what more can he do? To help her there at the end. Killed herself, didn't she? What the hell she got sick and died, you freak. I live with her, so I'd know. Killed herself, my ass. That's <sighs> unavoidable. That bicycle. It's a beaut. Susie loved the hell out of that bike. She'd ride it any chance she got. I don't have the heart to scrap it, so it's been sitting out here ever since. This thing was her prized possession. Any idea what those numbers are about? Near the end, when she was bedridden, she would just gaze at it. Is this the number from before or the number from after? She'd murmur to herself, always asking, did I change it or was it all for nothing? I can't be sure. It was constantly on her mind. For your safety, please remain behind. Uh, but that means nobody's called in a bomb threat. Huh? My Yuri. Can that still can no. something? You feeling okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, hey, my Yuri's phone was going nuts a bit earlier. Sorry if that was you, man. I hollered for her to wake up, you know, but no dice. <laughs> Susa, did we change the world enough? Man, at least Is my Yuri Yuri too. going to live? Is she? Oh. All right, guys, there you have it. Those were episodes uh, 15 and 16 of Steins Gate. The more, the more I watch the show, the more amazing it is to me. The more, it get, the more amazing and incredible it becomes uh, as the story unfolds. So there we have. I used, to, you know, I was calling her Amane for the for the longest, but uh, we have a uh, Suzaha. <sighs> Susan, her man. Uh, that these uh, these last two episodes, or last episode, I should say, uh, episode sixteen, was very emotional for me. You know, 
for Susan Hug, you know, her little, her last little go right there to find, first off, to find out that Daru is her, is her dad, you know. It was very heart touching to see the reunion right there. It, it's incredible. The fact that Mayuri figured it out like that, just to, to, to figure that out, to find that out. Cause that's why it was so easy for Daru to put it together like that. Um, it just that to have that little hug that they gave each other, you know, it was just it was crazy uh, to see that. It very it touched my heart. I really enjoyed that, and to see her go away. Like, yeah, to see her just try to go back to 1975, attempt to go back there, to see her depart, it really just made it hurt even worse. And then to find out that it was just, well, it wasn't, it wasn't all for, like, 100% all for nothing. True, they couldn't get the IBM 5100, but something happened to have, uh, Mayuri for her to survive, you know, so far as of right now. So, I guess that's our checkpoint right now because the hourglass is over the hourglass is uh tipped up and ran out and everything um that's for what i noticed i didn't know I, I didn't see anything else uh and i know my area was able to live past that point and you see the look on kim's face um you know just relieved that you know I, if anything could have if anything they got up out of this you know my area lived and uh susa you know she had the first time she ended up hanging herself um uh, Second time, she just died of uh, illness. Yeah, uh, yeah. The whole resistance group. Uh, she was she was from that twenty thirty six in twenty thirty six turn taking over. Uh, Kim, uh, Kim was actually the head of the of a resistance group against them. Uh, you know, Susan how she ended up going back in time to try to to try, and you know, yeah, died in the year what two thousand. Left the message right there. It was hard to see. It was very uh, heart heart breaking to hear and to see her writing the the letter and everything. To say I felt over and over again, but you know they got some. They at least got something out of this. Uh, her sacrifice wasn't for nothing. Um, everything that happened, everything that even even everything with the IBN that may have been out, but at least my area gets to live. At least another day. The only thing I can think now is what's next. What's next? Damn, I never would have thought Daru was uh, her dad. And like, I look at Daru and I'm like, okay, his hair. It's like you know, Zuzu Hug got kind of like the same hair design because you know with her little side right here, right here. But she she got a uh, she got French braids. But you know, Daru still got the same like little part, so it's like I can see that. Oh man, yeah, damn, this show is amazing. This show is absolutely incredible. Um, that's about it. <laughs> like I say about it, man, there's still so much more. Just oh, I need to go back and rewatch this episode again, just to just just to make sure I got there. I covered everything, just about everything. So if there's anything that I missed out, guys. Uh, anything that I missed or anything that I'm probably not getting all the full intent out of, let me know in the comment section. Thank y'all for watching. Uh, if you like to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you're new, and I'll be sure to see you all in my next one. Sayonara.